Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about one way in which the dashboard software notifies you of various events around the track and in the car. It does this through changing the background color of the dashboard when one of these events occurs. With version 4.17, there are now seven different notifications that can be done in this manner. They are in order of precedence, uh, hitting the rev limiter, a full course yellow caution, a local yellow caution, a blue flag, uh, having the pit limiter engaged, being on pit lane, or having a low fuel situation. Now if two of these warnings exist at the same time, then the one with higher precedence will be displayed over the other one. So to show what the dashboard looks like when one of these events occurs, we can see right now that the dashboard has a standard black background. If we engage the pit limiter on the car that we're in at the moment. So with the pit limiter engaged, uh, the background flashes red. And then when the limiter is turned off, we're back to our standard black background. So how do you set these various options for your car? So let's take a look at the settings options for these notifications. So the first thing is you need to be out of the car. So right now we're out of the car and we're on the dashboard's uh, general statistics page. If we click up here on the right and choose uh, settings, we get to uh, the settings dialog of the dashboard. Now, each of the background uh, colors can be selected uh, by the user, and each of those colors can be specific for each dashboard. So if you have multiple dashboards for your car, you can actually have different colors for these notifications if you like. Uh, and the purpose behind that is because some dashboards like track maps or um, formula dashboards or stock car dashboards might uh, have certain color schemes that work with uh, a particular background color. And that background color might have to change a little bit for each of the dashboards you have selected. So with that in mind, uh, we're looking at the car 2 tab at the moment. So on the left here, we have all these different color options. Uh, we have rev limiter color, pit limiter color, blue flag, yellow flag, and fuel level color. So if you want to change one of these colors, uh, click on the desired swatch, and you get a color chooser dialog. And you can either choose a uh, basic color on the left, or you can choose any other color you want on the right here, and then click OK. So the color used for when you hit the rev limiter is the one here for rev limiter color. For when the pit limiter is engaged, it's this color here. Uh, when you have a blue flag, it's this blue color. A yellow flag, either local or full course, is uh, this color. And then the low fuel warning is this color. Now, if we scroll down to this warning section, there is a fuel level uh, text field right here. This is the fuel level uh, in liters, below which the background color will flash this fuel level color. So right now it's up to 1. If your car ends up with less than one liter of fuel in it, then the background color will start flashing. And again, this can be set uh, on a per car basis. So once you've set this fuel level, and once you've selected your colors, you can click OK, and those settings will be saved for the current car. Now you can turn these settings on and off through uh, the Car 1 tab. And again, these settings uh, can be set uh, for each car individually. So on the right, we scroll down, and we have all these options here of what we want to have uh, flash on the background. So you have limiter flash, and this shows you this shows you if you want to have um, the pit limiter notification flash when the pit limiter is engaged, or when you're in the pit lane, or if you turn it off, it will never uh, be, you will never be notified. Uh, of either the pit limiter or being in the pit lane. Now, not every sim reports uh, the pit limiter being engaged or the pit, uh, or you being in pit lane. So you need to choose the appropriate choice for your sim. The fuel flash, uh, this can just is on or off, and that's whether you want the background to flash when you have uh, a low fuel condition. Now, uh, one note on this is that it will not flash during a qualifying session uh, because most of the time you're going to have low fuel and it would get really distracting if the background was flashing the whole lap. So on the left here, 
this is the information which determines when uh, the rev limiter is engaged. So uh, we know that the uh, red line of this car is 7,300 RPM. And I want the, f the background to flash uh, that I'm hitting the rev limiter at 7,275 RPM. Now, if I want to have it flash sooner, I can reduce this number. Uh, if I want to have it flash later, I can increase it. And uh, by default, the red line of the car is provided by the sim. Uh, however, there are some sims that do not provide that number, or it might be slightly inaccurate for what you want to do. So this auto red line, if you turn this to no, I can now enter any uh, RPM level I want as the red line for a car. And then I can also enter any number I want for my uh, dashboard uh, flashing. So it's important to set this level uh, right here to a number which makes the dashboard flash at an appropriate level for you. You don't want it to engage too late because then uh, the dashboard will never tell you that you're about to hit the rev limiter. But you also don't want to have it too soon because then it'll be flashing when you're like one or two thousand RPM away from your shift point. Now finally, there is also a setting for whether or not you want to have the notification of the yellow and blue flags displayed on the background. So again, in the car one tab, if I scroll down, there's this show flags option. I can either set to yes or no. Uh, so if I set this to yes, then the dashboard background will notify me of the yellow or blue flags. If I set this to no, then I will not receive those notifications. And again, once you have uh, set your options as you want for the car, click OK. And we're back to the garage's statistics screen. OK, so let's uh, look at each of these uh, background notifications to give an example of what they look like uh, when they happen. So right now, we're just looking at the dashboard. Uh, and there is no notification going on. It has the standard black background. And this is an example of the uh, rev limiter being engaged and how that gets notified on the dashboard background. So this is an example of the full cost caution background notification. And uh, this is an example of the local yellow flag notification. Uh, and notice the background actually flashes faster than the full course, even though it's the same color. And this is obviously because it's more of an issue if you're right there where the accident is. So uh, this is an example of the blue flag notification. Now we've engaged the pit limiter, uh, so we can see what this looks like with the uh, pit limiter notification. And this would also look the same if you had selected the in pit lane option. As soon as you entered the pit lane, you would get this notification. And finally, this is what the low fuel notification looks like. Uh, on the dashboard's background. So uh, remember, all these dashboard notifications can be customized uh, through the CAR1 and CAR2 tab, as we mentioned earlier in the video. And these notifications are intended to give you information quickly and easily about what's going on on the track and with your car. So hopefully this has been a useful video, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.